Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and welcome back to more on the Creepy Files. Now we're in the sequel to Watson Files. It's been a month since we last see the first one, and there's a lot of theory that we might think this could be add up, or maybe not. But, here we go. Relocate Project. It means of what just happened to those animatronics from the first part, because it's very confusing on what happened to those animatronics last time or why they were relocated to this abandoned place and never be seen again. And now we get to see one of the other cats of the animatronics who was mostly named Banny. Now something went wrong with this animatronic, which means there is an our vengeful spirit who's been trapped in it because Whatever reason happened to this vengeful spirit, why she was mostly trapped in this animatronic? Well, like how the original Finding the Freddy's would do, mostly a killer stuffed kid in the suit. And next, we have more things about really relocating the animatronics, and we're into the to this type of um, instructions video with Shaw talking about the instructions, and mostly seeing the cute little version of Bond, but. Showing the backpack, it's mostly showing Jack Walton. Now we're back for more on the Shaw character. This is kind of confusing. I'm seeing all these uh, dark stuff here, which means that we have another vengeful spirit trapped in a suit, or mostly just the electronic. And how? Well, it's mostly Bond, or mostly Jack Walton. And then we get to these three new workers who was mostly going to the same location what happened to the previous worker who died of course who was mostly Brian Stealth until one of the workers wake up at night and looking for something and then found a clown animatronic until she was mostly captured or mostly get killed by Bond and turned into a clown animatronic again as the last time we see for this so it's kind of still confusing what's going on. So, in my theory, ever since what happened to Jack Watson for his disappearance, and why those animatronics have been relocated, and why I feel like it's become the full owner, well, this could be the different reason. It's like, there was like a thing in real life that there could be a co-owner who's jealous and wants to be better. They want to get rid of the previous owner and want to be the only one. So... That could be the thing, that Felix wants to get rid of Jack Walton so he can have everything he wants for the restaurant. And how he do that? Well, for what happens to those animatronics? He mostly reprogrammed those animatronics to kill Jack Walton. And that's why something went wrong with those animatronics after Jack's death. They had to relocate to those animatronics. And Jack Walton was never been found, which means he's mostly trapped one of those animatronics that's mostly Bond. And time go by. For what happened to Sophie, there's mostly these secret videos that you had to watch so you can learn of who this Sophie character is. Sophie is mostly the daughter of Jack Walton. And why was with those pills? If it could be just because she had these hallucinations, she's seeing things, something went wrong. So she had to take the pills every time. And that's why she become a security guard so she could find Jack Walton, her father, of course. And who knows? More of those vegetable spirits now possess every animatronics will haunt the restaurant. And we may not know what the third video is going to be like if Jack Walton would get his revenge to kill Felix. So this is mostly a quick video, like these tapes, these videos. So that's all I got for this video, folks. I try my best to keep this video long to find more theories to learn about these characters and the video. But... It's kind of like a quick video of it. So we finally got a Sophie as the daughter of Jack Watson who's dead and become as Bond and Felix took over the restaurant. And more of these vengeful spirits becoming as animatronics. And we may not know if they tried to escape out of the factory, this facility and kill or find Felix to kill him. So that's all I got folks. Hope you enjoy it. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.